The first step of the forehand is the pivot and the shoulder turn. Coming out of the split step, I pivot with my outside foot, transfer my weight to that foot, I get the heel of my inside foot up, and at the same time I turn my shoulder sideways. If we watch that again, when I pivot, that opens my hips up, letting me get my shoulders all the way sideways. From the side view, the other point I want to make is that when I pivot and turn my shoulders, you'll see that my tennis racket is coming back. And that's key. The pivot and the shoulder turn starts the racket take back. But what's also extremely important is that it's the shoulder turn. If we watch it again, the shoulder turn brings the racket back and not the arms. Your arms shouldn't do anything during this step. So let's watch it one more time. I pivot with my outside foot, transfer my weight to that foot, heel of my inside foot comes up, shoulders turn sideways, starting the racket take back even though my arms haven't moved yet. Behind me is Sasha Jones hitting a forehand. She's a New Zealander who recently turned pro, and this forehand is from a recent Washington Castles World Team Tennis event. When Sasha starts her forehand, she pivots with her outside foot, transfers her weight to that foot, the heel of her inside foot comes up and her shoulders turn sideways and her racket starts to come back because her shoulders are turning sideways. If we clip to her hitting a forehand from behind, she pivots with her outside foot and again transfers her weight to that foot. The heel of her inside foot comes up, her shoulders turn sideways and the tennis racket starts to come back even though she hasn't used her arms yet because her shoulders are turning sideways. Let's now look at some pictures of Gaël Monfi preparing to hit a forehand. Monfi recently made it to the semis of the French Open, and I think he has the record for the hardest forehand ever hit, somewhere around 120 miles an hour. And just like Sasha, he's going to start preparing to hit a forehand with the pivot and the shoulder turn. So behind me, this first picture is Gaël hitting his split step. And from here, in this shot, now he's pivoted and turned his shoulders. Let's move into his feet to start. You can see that all the weight is on his outside foot and he's got the heel of his inside foot up. Moving up, his hips are open and because his hips are open, that has allowed him to turn his shoulders all the way sideways. And if we pull it back a little bit, you'll see that the tennis racket has started to come back even though he hasn't used his arms yet. It's the shoulder turn again that's doing the work and I just want to emphasize this is very important. You'll see he has both hands still on the tennis racket. So during this step, the shoulders turn sideways, both hands stay on the racket, but you're still going to get the racket coming back again because of that shoulder turn.